Earth asteroid collisions are twice as often as before and they pose a threat for the next mass extinction event. Asteroids are smacking Earth twice as often as before and they're posing a threat for the next mass extinction event. Giant rocks from space are falling from the sky more than they used to, but don't worry just yet. For the past 290 million years, large asteroids have been crashing into Earth more than twice as often as they did in the previous 700 million years, according to a new study in Thursday's journal Science. But no need to cast a wary glance. Large asteroids still only smack Earth on average every million or few years, even though with the increased crash rate. NASA's list of potential big space rock crashes show no pending major threats until about 10 years. In about 10 years, we get the Apophis coming near us. The biggest known risk is the 1.3 kilometer wide asteroid with a 99.988% chance that it will miss Earth when it was as near, very near here in 161, 861 years. So tell that to the dinosaurs though. Most scientists think dinosaurs and a lot of other species became extinct after a huge space rock crashed into Central America about 65 million years ago. That's in the area of the Gulf of Mexico, Yucatan Peninsula. Quote, it's just a game of probabilities, and quote, said study leader, author Sarah Mazrui from the University of Toronto. She's a planetary scientist. She said, these events are still rare and far between, that I'm not too worried about it, end quote. Mazrui and colleagues in the UK and US compiled a list of impact craters on Earth and the moon larger than 20 kilometers wide and came up with the dates of them. It takes a space rock that's 800 meters wide to create holes that big. The team counted 29 craters that were no older than 290 million years and nine between 291 million years and 650 million years old. But we can see relatively few big craters on Earth because the planet is more than 70% ocean and past glaciers smoothed out some holes. This is what University of Toronto planetary scientist Rebecca Gett said. She's a study co-author. Extra Polating from what uh, cannot be seen brings a total to about 260 space crashes on Earth in the last 290 million years. Adding in other factors, the science team determined that the current space crash, the rate is 2.6 times more than the previous 700 million years. Craters older than 650 million years are mostly wiped off Earth by glacial forces, so the scientists used impact craters that are there are nearby moon as a stand-in for holes between 650 million and 1 billion years old. The moon is a good guide for estimating earth crashes because it's close enough to be in the same bombardment path and its craters last, of course, a lot longer. Now, so what happened nearly 300 million years ago? Dr. Masri speculated perhaps an asteroid family was broken up in the asteroid belt the space rocks then headed towards the Earth and the Moon, and the planet got slightly more because it's a bigger target and it has higher gravity, according to Dr. Ghent. Scientists are split about the research. Jay Meloch at Purdue said he found the number of craters too small to come to a reasonable conclusion, but Harvard's Avi Loeb said the case was convincing. Humans might not have emerged without mass extinctions from space rocks about 250 million to 65 million years ago, said Professor Loeb. Quote, but this enhanced impact rate poses a threat for the next mass extinction event, which we should watch for and attempt to avoid with the aid of technology, he said. This demonstrates how arbitrary and fragile human life is. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, 
you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.